feel like um you know since i came back from my cruise in may like my life has just completely been in shambles <laughs> Bad bitches have bad days too. Send help. Send help. Because 2024 came in and just shook shit up. Like, I'm lost in life. I'm lost. I'm not going to lie. This is a very transparent moment for me. I don't know which way to turn. God, I need you. Because I'm fighting like an internal battle. The devil is on my head and he not letting up, y'all. He is not letting up, so... Yeah, that's how I've been doing, uh, you know, since I came back from the cruise or whatever, like my life has just been in shambles. But anyway, let's just get into it. Y'all, let me start off by showing y'all my hair because they look so good. Like I feel like knotless braids, boho braids, they look so much better as they get older. And I'm going to tag the girl or put her info, info here somewhere on the screen so y'all can know who who um, the braider was. She was very friendly, very personable, very fast. She was fast. These are medium, um, not less boho braids. And then, but I did like add a little bit more curly hair cause I like my extra, extra, extra curly. And then I just got like a little braid charm going on right there. But yes, get into the braids. What is it, the braids? But this is where they come to, they stop. They come right to a little bit past my butt but yeah I, and i paid 230 for these so yes 10 out of 10 definitely recommend very cutesy very mindful very demure y'all when life gives you lemons make a french 75 but yeah y'all i just feel like um you know since i came back from my cruise in may like my life has just completely been in shambles um like i said i've been single for about three months so like after the cruise me and my then boyfriend we came to like a mutual agreement like you know that is just best for us to not be together um and you know nothing is wrong with that i feel like we just on two separate paths right now and so i'm just trying to navigate that on top of like battling severe what i feel like is heavy depression now and watching like you know some of my closest friends and my cousins go off and start families and get married and like i just feel like sometimes like dang like god don't forget about me like when you handing out blessings like i don't know like life just been life just been life man and don't get me wrong, like, I'm genuinely happy. I'm happy for everybody around me that's, like, you know, finding their way in life. And, you know, things are looking up for them. They're getting new jobs. They're starting families. Um, but I just feel like, you know, like, girl, you about to be 30 next year. Like, what are you doing? But I know, like, comparison is the thief of joy. And, like, right now I'm just doing the best that I can, like. And I come out here and talk about stuff like this because, you know, like when people when people see you smiling all the time, like they just automatically assume like you happy, but they don't know like behind the, the smile some days, like, you know, you be struggling to, to get out of the bed. Like, you know, some days is a lot harder, a lot harder than others, but I just feel like I'm just at such a weird space in my life where I don't know what, which way to turn. Like, I feel like I was mad at God at one point. And, like, I just feel like the devil, like, been trying to come at me so hard. Like, ever since I got baptized in January, and I don't know why I'm just feeling like that. Ever since I got baptized in January, I feel like the devil just been trying to attack me left and right. Like, through my loved ones, through family, through friends. Like, y'all, I even had somebody tell me, like, oh, you must can't have kids. Why would you say some evil-ass shit like that? Like, you know, but it's all good. Like, I know that what I'm going through right now is, is going to prepare me for my greater. And I know that God didn't forget about me. It's just like, I'm just having a, a hard time. But 
we gonna get there like some days but yeah i'm just i'm just taking it day by day just going on with life the best way that i know how like just keeping it's raining of course it is pouring down pouring down but i'm just trying to keep my face strong and one of my old co-workers which i call her my auntie like she always said like niece you just gotta have mustard seed faith like and y'all know how small a mustard seed is but i just been trying to hold it together and some days i'm doing good some days that i'm not so yeah just just keep me in y'all prayers but I know that, you know, we still got a few more months left of 2024 and God can do a lot of great things in such a small time. But, but I say all that to say, I don't really know what I'm trying to say, but yeah, just keep me in y'all prayers. Dear God, thank you for everything that I have and everything that I don't yet have, but I know that you're going to, you're going to do it for me. God, I just ask that you keep me humble for I'm no better than nobody else. I'm just like my neighbor. As you bless me, bless those around me and bless my neighbor as well. God, forgive me for the times that I was mad at you and for the times that I let the devil get into my head. Forgive me, God, and give me mercy. And when I don't know what to pray for, just search my heart and just listen to my thoughts. God, I just ask that you just keep me on the right path and just guide my footsteps. Whatever you want for me, I want for me. God, I'm just asking that you protect me, protect my family and protect my loved ones. And that's it. And hopefully I'm coming home with a new car and, and bless that too, Lord. In Jesus name. Amen. Okay, so I'm back from adulting and taking care of my business and figuring out stuff with my car. I know y'all probably wondering, like, what's going on with the car? Um, am I going to get a new one? Like, I know y'all probably y'all probably wondering, like, what's, what's all happening? And, you know, like I said, I was coming back, hopefully, with a new car and, and um, yeah, I'm going to tell y'all. So, if y'all want to know what's what's all going on, uh, you're going to have to stay subscribed. And um, stay tuned for the next one. So, like this video, comment, subscribe. Please share this with somebody to help me get into the algorithm. I love y'all. Stay blessed. Stay safe. Have a great day. Love you, hoes. Bye.